Nancy Cavey, National Arista and Individual Disability Attorney. Welcome to this week's episode of Winning Isn't Easy. Before we get started, I've got to give you that legal disclaimer. The podcast is not legal advice. The Florida Bar Association says I've got to say it, and I've said it, but nothing will prevent me from giving you easy to understand overview of the disability insurance world, the games that disability carriers play, and what you need to know to get the disability benefits you deserve. So off we go. Now today, I'm going to devote this episode to one very specific and rare disease called Moya Moya disease. I've never heard of it until recently when I was retained by a client who has Moya Moya disease. Um, even if you don't have a disease, I think you should stick around because there are many rare diseases uh, that uh, can be the cause of an ERISA disability claim. And the games that disability carriers play are really the same, but a little more um, nuanced, if you will, in the case of a rare disease. So I'm going to talk about getting your ERISA disability benefits for Moya Moya disease, the types of treatment that the carrier expects that you get, uh, and strokes Moya Moya disease, and the complications of uh, Moya Moya disease and your ERISA disability claim. Now, I said, please stick around. And one of the reasons, again, that you should stick around is that many medical conditions will have secondary complications, such as a stroke in a Moya Moya disease uh, a case or other complications. Those complications or secondary medical conditions can in and of themselves be the basis of a disability claim. So while you may not have Moya Moya disease, the complications of your medical conditions can be the basis of a claim. And that's a reason why you should continue to listen to this podcast. Let's take a break first. Have you been robbed of your peace of mind from your disability insurance carrier? You owe it to yourself to get a copy of Robbed of Your Peace of Mind, which provides you with everything you need to know about the long-term disability claim process. Request your free copy of the book at kvlaw.com today. Welcome back to Winning Isn't Easy. Let's talk about getting your ERISA disability benefits for Moya Moya disease. But think about this, about getting your ERISA disability benefits for progressive and ongoing medical conditions. Now, Moya Moya disease is a rare but chronic progressive condition of the arteries of the brain that can lead to disability. The narrowing of the blood vessels can lead to blockages that can cause ischemic strokes, hemorrhagic strokes, and seizures. Any one of these complications can result in a disability insurance claim. So if you have suffer, for example, from MS or Parkinson's, think about the complications that you might have as the disease progresses, the underlying MS in and of itself or the underlying PD may not be disabling, but it's the complications of the disease process, particularly as it progresses, that can result in a disability claim. Disability carriers are always going to be uh, looking at your medical records and using their medical record toolbox of claim denial and termination tools to effectuate a denial or termination of a claim. One of the common things that we see, regardless of the nature of the disease, is the game they play by cherry picking your medical records. Now, what's important here, regardless of the nature of your medical condition, is that you're developing those symptoms and that those symptoms are reflected in your medical records. So let's take on Moya Moya disease. In Moya Moya disease, the Disability carrier is going to be first looking for a diagnosis based on objective medical testing, such as MRI, CT scans, PET, PET uh, or SPECT uh, imaging. Um, and in that case, they're looking for this puff of smoke or tangle of tiny blood vessels. That confirms the diagnosis. So, for example, if you have MS, they're going to be looking at a brain scan uh, or a spinal uh, uh, um, testing that documents white matter lesions or other changes. In the case of Moya Moya, they're going to be looking for an EEG. They're going to look for a history of mini strokes, seizures, visual problems, cognitive decline. And of course, they're going to be looking at the diagnostic studies to confirm that. So let's go back to the MS. They're going to be looking for, for example, the symptoms that you have uh, with problems with balance and coordination, problems uh, with uh, visual issues, problems with cognition, problems with uh, tremors, 
um, they're going to be looking for the typical symptoms that one would see in MS. And then they're going to look at the diagnostic studies to confirm, in fact, that you really have those particular problems. So they might want to see visual testing. What's crucial in your medical records is the documentation, not only of the diagnosis and the objective basis of the diagnosis, but the symptoms that prevent you from performing your own or any occupation in view of your education, training experience, and whatever your restrictions and limitations. So in the case of Moya Moya, you might have had a stroke that left you with paralysis, weakness, impaired vision, speech, balance, uh, and, and other issues. The nature of those problems and the restrictions and limitations caused by each of these symptoms should be developed in your medical records. Same way, for example, in the case of, of a PD. You wanted to document what, in fact, the problems are that you're having by body system, if you will, and then the restrictions and limitations assigned based on those particular problems, based on the body system, and document how that is objectively based. Because you got to tie this together, the diagnosis, the symptoms, and the restrictions, limitations. You can see, even in the case of Moya Moya, which is a rare disease, that carriers don't always understand these claims. They don't necessarily see a lot of them. And even if they do, they don't understand the disabling impact uh, they, they can have on a policy holder. Now, again, I think that not only is the diagnosis important, but more important is the complications that you will see from the uh, ongoing disease process uh, that should be documented objectively in the medical records based on the uh, objective findings, correlated with your symptoms, and then mixed together, if you will, with a winning um, attending physician statement form documenting your restrictions or functional capacity testing or cognitive testing. This all can be enhanced, of course, uh, by statements from family members and friends, your employer. But again, even in the case of a rare disease like Moya Moya, the process is the same. The game is a little different depending on the nature of uh, the disease, but the process is the same. Hope you get this. Let's take a break. <laughs> 